Still don't know who on earth that character was. And gifts, you've given us gifts, we like your solid government, we're troubled by your strange alien ways. Uh, have we actually done any trading with them? Yeah, actually our resource trading is starting to get a little bit better. Well, we're trading, um, well, we're buying things from them right now to top up our needs, but... Uh, Tourism, trading, fuel sales. You know, we're getting a little bit through it. Annual bonus income is 20k. That's actually not bad at all. Well, most of that has come from our own private sector, but... Still, little by little, we're getting there. Why do you propose this gift? Uh, I, I guess I have told them to approach this peaceful colonization. Um, I suppose that does make sense, to be fair. Wow, okay. You're up to over 100% development now. Actually, you're going amazingly over here. Our population, uh, you know, it's still coming along, but let's increase taxes at this stage. Let's decline that. Okay, you go in. Gross tax revenue is, is still kind of low, but as soon as they they creep over... Well, actually, where is my population? Uh, I'm reading the wrong thing. Hmm. I would have imagined that our support costs would have gone down a little bit more drastically, but okay. Nine frigates for 38,000. Uh, sure. Okay, we're going to do it this time. Little by little, we are properly spreading out. I could send our fleet over here to find out whatever it is. Bunch of new frigates. Automatically defend. Yes. Go ahead. I start poking around a lot more aggressively. Get some more fuel. Get that going as well. More frigates being made. We've got a lot of ships now doing that. It's not, it's not too bad. Oh, wow. Okay. You're a free trader. Uh, research breakthrough. Skill progressed. Treaty signed, new traits, free trader. So, espionage is getting a lot better over time. Counter espionage isn't great right now, but diplomacy is a bit rough. But free trader, plus 5% trade income and plus 5% civilian ship construction speed. Alright, not bad. That will help us quite a lot, I should imagine.
What is our funding going to be like? Uh, somewhat close. Uh, they have evaded detection. Perfect. Both of them have. Absolutely marvellous. And marvellous for you as well. Let's go check out our spies. Uh, at this stage, I'm just going to continue to build you up. Espionage 8, very nice indeed. I know it's just the same thing over and over, but at least it gives them skill, basically. We're so close to being able to start to renovate an enormous part of our fleets. Good night, uh, Dead Kingdom. You have a good one, mate. Uh, let's get that going. We will scan it at higher levels eventually, I promise. How are our, on the, that note, how are our ships doing? Got a load of them out surveying. Little by little, bit by bit. Uh, let's actually see resource flow. Uh, uh, let's pick something I know that they probably... Ah, there we are. You can see the resource flow there. Uh, let's pick up Kazlon. Oof. There's a lot of movement of Kazlon around there. How about the rare plant? There we go. Sources. I mean, we're only seeing it within our area, I suppose. I was hoping that we would see a little bit of trade, for example. Migration flow. Sure, all races. Probably not going to see much, because the only people who would be migrating within my territory are ours, and they're all in one, within one system. Tourism flow, probably the same. Yeah, we're not going to see any tourism moving around just yet, sadly. Maybe the boundaries, long scanners on or off? I'll leave that on. Uh, diplomacy relations. Okay, not too bad. Luxury ships. Okay. Oh, actually, civilian ships, exploration ships. Let's have a look at civilian ships. They are bouncing. Okay, they are actually bouncing around all over the place right now. Good to see. But I will leave it on. I, I think I'll leave it on military ships. Yeah, I think that's not a bad one. So many interesting places for us to look at. Very close. Only a couple of days left. Right, now all of our effort are going into the heavy ion weapons. It is almost here. Kind of want to see how this goes down. Got any eyes on enemies? There we go. Small space for complete. Just in time for me to completely replace it. Uh, I bet they're going to be happy with that. Uh, on the plus side, though, uh, colonies developing recreational facilities are in orbit, and there will soon be medical facilities as well, which will be a big help. Uh, you can definitely afford to have slightly higher taxes, as can you. 55% corruption losses on the capital. It pains me. 
Give me back my money! Scallywags. Imagine all of the tea we could buy with that. frustrates me. Uh... Oh, right. There's an enemy over here. Do you want to go and take it out? Hmm. I leave this choice down to our admiral. Union ID. Do you feel confident that we could put down this menace? It is stronger than we are. Currently, we might be able to uh, bulk the fleet up a bit, but uh, presently it is stronger. It's still from the tea fund. Off with their taste buds. We could head back and uh, retrofit, I suppose. We could also do that, yeah. We could definitely wait for the ion beams. <gasps> On that note! Wow! Fantastic news! Uh, well, now is time then for me to grab something else. Whilst we build up to it. Uh, layered armor, we could go for that. We could get starfighters, though that would require sh uh, starship maneuvering. Having that would uh, allow our frigates to deploy fighters into combat. I think it might be wise. The alternative is to simply double down. Uh, that'll take way too long, but... Um, we've also been thinking about planetary exploration for my exploration ships. That's going to take me one year and a half to finish. But if I get Starship maneuvering up and running, two and a half years. Oh, well, actually, yeah, two and a half. I, I assume. <laughs> um, 1.31 years. I always, It always confuses me a little bit when, when it's like, oh, 1.31 years. Um, in this case, I'm, I'm fairly certain it's just, it's just converted years into a decimal fraction. Uh, but I, I will be honest, whenever... <laughs> Like, there's always a, a, a moment where I'm like, uh, with, uh, is that one and then that many days? Or how, how is this breaking it down? Uh, yeah, I, th I think that's fine. We could crash this one as well, actually. Sure. There we go. That's going to be done in two, three, six days. And then it will switch back over to Heavy Ion. Uh, with that in mind, then, let's send you back to base. Refuel and re repair, and then switch back to defend. Oh! <laughs> you can refuel and repair here. Fair enough. Right. Should I... Go ahead and upgrade this a bit. This fleet template. We might be able to afford it. I'm not entirely certain that we can. No, we can't really. So we're going to have to wait on that one. Alright. Well, I think for now, I'm going to go on another tea break because I am out of tea. And so we're going to drop this down to a fairly low speed. 
We're going to zoom into a hub. Uh, Avakis or Avakin? Mm, I think Avak uh, Avakis. It's the largest hub station we've got. And I'm going to allow you to enjoy the view. Let's flip into low angle. There we go. You can watch the comings and goings around the hub of Akis. Okay, out of tea because of all the corruption, I know, right? It's awful. But we shall be back in a couple of minutes. Let us see what is her good while we were away. We've discovered the High Retreat, ancient ruins from a lost civilization at the deserts of Arna Moon. Uh, they'll be in minor, so let me quickly zoom all the way out. It'll be down here. There we are. Uh, from our orbital, uh, orbital inspection, we detected that the ruins are in an advanced state of decay and disrepair. Should we investigate? Yes! Pirate ambush! See, chat, you invoked this on us. You cursed us with nothing ever bad happens from these. Uh, as your survey team enters the ruins of the High Retreat, they trigger a powerful galactic beacon. The beacon signals to a nearby pirate faction, and they send a band of raiding ships to your location. Prepare to repel the enemy fire. These ruins provide the following empire-wide bonus, plus 17% sabotage. What? These runes provide the following colony bonuses, plus 17% colony development, plus 11% hyperdrive research, and plus 8% scenery. We can acquire these research uh, bonuses by building a research station here. We can acquire the scenery bonuses by building a resort base here to obtain the other bonuses. We should colonize this planet. Ho what? Se plus 17%? This is already a fairly good planet for us. <sighs> All right, well, that's kind of annoying. They're not a weak pirate force either. All right, then. I'm not sending them a gift, no. Uh, well done on evading detection once again. I approve. Getting better every single time. Um, let's continue. Right, we're going to need our fleet over here then. Let's pick the strongest of them. I think it's that one. Yeah, strength 32. Uh, sorry, 382. Yeah, that'll be the one. All right, then, get in there. Sod it. Now, where are the military ships? Because we've got a decent amount of them. Um, go for... All ships, no. Ships not in a fleet. Yeah, they're, they're patrolling. So they're doing much like the... Uh, the other... Uh, the escorts, rather. Okay, well, that's kind of a pain in the bum, but I guess we'll just live with it. They are going to break that. There's nothing we can do about it either. Well done. Intelligent mission success. Get back out there. And continue to steal. Worst thing is, it's going to take ages for our fleet to get there too.
Are they just not going? Turn those off for a moment. Okay, let's just get over here for now. Exploration is under a ship by the Grim Plague. What the heck is a Grim Plague? Oh, it's the uh, name. Capture Sneaking Encounter. No, do not do that. Uh, something unknown. Rusty Wayfarer taken over. Our small freighter, Rusty Wayfarer, has been boarded and captured by the Fearsome Claw Guild. Oh, right. It, these guys. Fair enough. Right, we've completed research into Starship Maneuvering Research. So the next thing we're doing is going for Starfighters, which will take us a year to complete. And we are promptly going to go for the crash on that. One year, one day. We'll have both of them complete shortly. That's a shame losing that for uh freighter. Can I send you to anywhere else? Uh yes, actually. Dagubar. Oh my lord. Yeah. Let's, let's let's just go to you for a second. There we go. Zakar Spaceport shall be renamed. Oh, actually, no. Zakar Spaceport is fine. I guess. Um. Can I send you anywhere? Nope. Fair enough, then. I'll just leave you to it. Let's get that built up. Small freighter and escort bleak monarch is under attack. Get more. Mine is built. Did your starships not maneuver before? Did you just point them in... Well, I mean, they they didn't have, like, maneuvering thrusters dedicated to maneuvering, no. Uh, but they, you know, have main engines and they just pulse them. There we go. There should be a fairly one-sided fight at this point. Uh, fully automate the fleet. Oh, they've jumped! Really? Down here now. This is from. Oh, that's from our allies. It looks like they showed up and just cleaned up for us. Okay. Uh, sure. 
Set that up for now. Got a decent amount of cash flow right now. Now the question is, should I wait for Starfighters to complete before I update my shipyards again? There's a fairly big part of me thinks we should. Mission complete, well done. Yeah, wait, okay. I'm not going to give you 55k. This is not a thing that will happen. Oh, wow, Avakin is doing amazingly. That's only going to get better as well, once we've got medical facilities in there. Uh, more items around the place that we can't do anything with right now. Well done. And speaker blip. Let's keep it up, I guess. 10 in espionage. I wonder how our ambassador is doing. Wow, plus 10 to espionage now. Honestly, having an ambassador in the place that you're... Um, uh, committing espionage against is fantastic. Absolutely bonkers good. Yeah, I'm going to have to colonize that one world, yep. You are doing ridiculously good. The espionage is constantly improving. No star, Ockham, you take care. And we poo-pooed him. Shows what we know, I know, right? I mean, you're an awful diplomat, you still are, but... You're an amazing spy support. <laughs> All of the, the other diplomats basically avoid you and, 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 and speak ill of you and underestimate you, and that is the key. You have accidentally become the best spy handler. Eh? I can probably speak with you, negotiate a deal. I would like... Do not like you enough. Hmm. Oh, it appears that I can't do that. Never mind. I will send you a gift, though. Please accept this gift. There you go. Dismiss. Offer treaties. We can't do that one. Negotiate a deal. It's fine. We'll, we'll wait on it. I've given you a nice, chunky gift. And we'll just see how that builds. It might take a while, though. May well take a while. However, this moon was the one that was amazing, wasn't it? Uh, yes. Uh, I think we are going to build a research station here. Actually, can I... Let's pause it for a second. New colonies. What's this one? No, we can't. 
wonder why. Oh, colonize, uh, colonization, really? Suitability zero? Hmm, okay. We'll have to build up to it then, I guess. All right, fair enough. Annoying, but it is what it is. Go ahead and develop this location, though. Get another colony on the go. We were very fortunate to have so many colonizable worlds in this one area here. <clears throat> we're practically done there. Fantastic. This will now be done in 148 days. All right, dismiss that. Now we just wait. As soon as that's done, we have got a bunch of redesigning to do. New frigate constructed, thank you. Discovered. Uh, uh, Tabrulian moss grows on a rare species of tree that grows horizontally off the ice cliffs of some ice worlds. The moss is a pale grey colour and grows in strands draping from the tree trunks. It is used in many cuisines as a herb or garnish for certain dishes, and is considered a rare delicacy. Hmm. Okay. Go ahead and show me. Have we already got a mine here? We do. Marvellous. That sucks. No, the planet's amazing. I just need to either find people who can handle it or make it more handleable. One or other will do. Uh, your power relief. I love that. And yeah, let's get that going. Also, another region warlock. And another one there, yeah. Oh wow, you are messed up though. Is it almost dead? I hope it is. It is almost, yes. New colony ship completed. Good, good, good. Uh, we are good there. And then someone will be along in a bit to sort all that out, I think. Right, those ships are going to head back down here. I'm not giving them a massive gift. No, I refuse. Why do you keep trying to get me to do it? Right, almost there. Just a few more days, come on! And... Pop! Perfect. Right, now we need to decide where we're going next. Ooh, enhanced ion projection. 40 years. It's good. Yeah, take take a little, little a slight bit of time to finish this one. Just just ever so ever so slight. Yes, tiny amount. Two thousand two hundred range though. That's actually quite impressive. Okay, so. <laughs> Ooh, orbital escape launchers. And planetary fighter base. Nice. Attack shuttles. Zim zip attack shuttles. But of course we're going to go for ship boarding, as this is something that we have been building towards for quite some time. Uh, assault strength 75, boarding range 1000, assault pod energy use 5, assault pod speed 250, shield penetration 50, launch rate 20, component 
Ion Defense. Juan. This is where we get a bit... Uh, this is where we really start to, to build up to this. We want this so much. Countermeasures targeting... So what's... What's the thing with you? Weapon, engine, defense, general. Hmm. Size 100, crew 60. That's actually a reasonably chonky fighter. My lord. Health size 15 there. Health size 20 here. Hmm. Yeah, a large star fighter bay, I guess. Yeah. That's a that's a um, racial tech there for us. But okay, what are we gonna go for first? I'm really tempted, fantastically tempted to go for the boarding scuttles. Hmm. I think that's what we're going to go for, yeah. Let's get boarding shuttles on the go. Uh, in the meanwhile, I do feel that if we're doing that... I kind of want extended range tractor beams. I kind of... At this point, I'm going to want to pull our enemy into us. Like, if I had... Uh, Attack ships, like, for example, destroyers with tra massive tractor beams on them, just, like, yoink the enemy ships super close. And then just, uh, at that point, all of my frigates and my uh, escorts are just laying into them, pulling their shield down before we launch uh, waves of uh, borders on them. Uh, other than that, I wouldn't mind maybe grabbing coordinated control. Either that or, uh, where are we? Deep space damage control, because that gives me a damage reduction of 25%. Yeah, we're gonna grab that one as well. Tonk. All right, time for a big old redesign. So, first and foremost, let's go to the small spaceport. We must upgrade it. So B4, it's now CRM, as it is going to have medical. Uh, let's strip everything down, everything down, because we are going to need to redesign this fairly extensively. All the way down, yank. Everything gone. All right. All right, so first and foremost, I would like two construction yards, one docking bay, and one small fighter bay. Plonk you in there. Next up, proximity centers seem reasonable. Pop that there. I'm not going to bother with the survey. Uh, shields, also quite reasonable. Armor underneath them. I'm probably going to put more shielding on it. Weapon-wise, this has got way too short of a range to be super useful for me. This, however, has got a crazy range and is so much longer range than anything else I've got, except the plasma torpedo. So it's pretty much going to be ion bombs and plasma torpedoes, I think. We're already way too high in, in the space requirements. We'll continue tweaking, though. Because there are a bunch of things I don't need on this. Namely, a warp bubble generator. Right, command center. Uh, we are going to want a commerce center. A recreation center. And a medical center. 
Yikes. We're going to want a crew system. We're going to need a few of these. Still three. That's a shame, as that does push us a lot deeper into this than, than I would like. Oh, my Lord. Look at the ion. Wow. I approve. Uh, we will want a cargo bay. Straight up necessary. Two of, uh, one of them is probably all I'm going to need because it has such an enormous storage capacity. And then we are going to want... What's the static energy use here? Two energy collectors would be enough. Uh, oh, wow. Two fusion reactors are good enough. That is kind of impressive. Two of these and then... We're going to want an upgraded research lab. Honestly, three energy collectors would give us a fair old bit of uh, coverage on quite a lot of stuff, actually, even far away from the sun. We don't need much in the way of fuel cells. I don't believe. Have a look. How much fuel can you hold? Um, storage capacity, energy output. Where's the fuel capacity here? Fuel transfer rate, fuel transfer range doesn't actually tell me. Um, and don't worry, I I do know that it's over. Over its uh, allotted size. It's in grey under energy. Energy collection rates, reactor storage capacity, static energy use, excess energy, fuel. Oh, right there. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Okay, then. So, we need to get back 89. One construction yard would do that. Each construction yard gives me... the ability to build one ship and dock one ship. Alternatively, I could drop two large iron bombs. Looking dapper. Hey, you, Alice. We are designing a space station. I feel it may come down to dropping the 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 bombs unfortunately. Pop the dock there and I lose one plasma torpedo for example, I might be all right. Or even a fuel cell would be fine, I suppose. This pretty much makes this station a solid problem for anyone who would attack us. Uh, I say that. It's only got an attack strength of 134. And its defense strength is fairly uh, subpar too. Yeah, I need a cargo bay to use the commerce center. Got one there. I 
I guess for now, this will work. I mean, I could do without the, the docking bay, but I really do want several ships to be able to dock at once.